Oh, I certainly do, Neil. You bet. Okay. The pennant races are at a fever pitch. The Los Angeles Dodgers have just a one game lead over the Atlanta Braves as Will Clark and the Giants storm into Dodger Stadium. The Giants plan to play a spoiler role against their arch rival Dodgers. Every game for L.A. star Daryl Strawberry and the Dodgers is do or die. And you'll see it tonight exclusively on ESPN Sunday Night Baseball. How'd I do? <laughs> okay. Good idea, good idea, good idea. Oh, Jerry. Oh, right, right in front of the leader. The first caution of the afternoon waves over North Wilkesboro Speedway as Joe Rutman in car number 75 that NRL Oldsmobile spun up in turn number three, bumped the wall, and then slid to the inside of the track, and he has the car going again. Well, that's too bad. We were just talking about him a moment ago. He was having a good run here today. He was running. He had moved up to 14th right before this happened. Let's see. It happened right behind Harry Gant. And Rick it Wilson, looks like, I believe. Yeah. Rick Wilson might have clipped Rutman just a little bit down on the inside. Seen him spinning around. There's Wilson coming into the picture now, and he backs into the wall. And Pit and Road is already open, I guess, and Harry Gant is already down Pit Road. <laughs> Jerry punches in Harry Gant's pit. And at 35 miles per hour, Gant brings his goal Oldsmobile down for what will be their first pit stop of the day. The car really looked up here for the early part of the race. Remember, their crew so quick and marketable. Every time they were on Pit Road, they were among the fastest of the crews in changing four tires. Andy Petrie has already changed his right side tires. He comes around to the left rear. Plug does going on. Charlie Presley getting ready to pull the jack. This is one again, the Kodiak car of Ken Schrader. Other cars spinning on pit road. Dale Earnhardt here in the Goodrich Chevrolet getting service now. As he gets his four tires put on. Dale Jarrett is here. And Dale and Ricky moved down. And Morgan Shepard. Earnhardt, Goodrich crew have a little bit of trouble with the right rear. And that is away. So the Goodrich car headed back to turn one. Alan Kowicki beat Davey Allison out of the pits. Allison was pitted at the very end of pit road. And all the pits, by the way, are located here on the main straightaway. We'll take a break and be back with more of the Tyson Holly Farms 400. They have 21 cars on the lead lap, can they? No, can't they? How can they have 21 cars on the lead lap? They don't. 